In 2023, NASA engineers faced a historic challenge, reactivating Voyager 1's camera after 40 years of silence. The probe, now 14.5 billion miles away, had its imaging system disabled in 1990 to conserve power. Reviving it risked draining its remaining nuclear battery, potentially cutting the mission short. Yet, the team calculated a 72% success rate using repurposed 1970s-era code. A single command, transmitted at light speed, would take 22 hours to reach Voyager. For 11 agonizing days, the Deep Space Network's 70-meter dishes scanned for Voyager's faint reply a 160-bit-per-second trickle, weaker than a smartphone signal. The probe's 23-watt transmitter, comparable to a fridge light bulb, had degraded by 37% since launch. Engineers used AI-assisted error correction to reassemble data fragments. Finally, a spike at 8,420 MHz, Voyager's carrier wave appeared, the signal strength, negative 154 dBm, barely above cosmic background noise. The camera's 800 by 800 pixel CCD, revolutionary in 1977, returned a grayscale mosaic taking 48 minutes to transmit. Stars appeared displaced by 0.3 degrees due to Voyager's 38,000 miles per hour motion. Most shocking, the sun now measured just 0.00003% of its original brightness, a barely visible speck. Computer analysis revealed an unexplained 4.2-degree tilt in the camera's orientation, suggesting possible micrometeoroid damage during its passage through the heliopause in 2012. Astrophysicists discovered Voyager had veered 186,000 miles off course, equivalent to missing Earth by 7.5 times its diameter. The deviation suggested an unmodeled force, perhaps interstellar magnetic fields or dark matter interactions, most perplexing was its speed increase of 0.001 mph per year, impossible under known physics. The team debated whether to disclose the findings, knowing they might challenge our understanding of the heliosphere's boundary. The mission log simply noted, anomaly unresolved.